Hey my scrappy friends, this is Hannah and welcome to the Shimmers channel. I am sharing with you a layout that I did using Shimmers sprays to make splatters and um, then I'm going to do some stamping. So um, I am super inspired by all of the fall colors and things this year. This year in my area, I live in uh, the Pacific West Coast in Washington State and some years it isn't very <laughs> colorful and this year it is very colorful. I don't know if it just has to do with the way the temperature is this year or that it feels like we've had a little bit less rain than normal but the trees that do have leaves on them <laughs> because there are a lot of evergreen trees. Um, it's just really pretty. So uh, when I'm inspired by all these colors, I really love to match the colors from my photos onto my layout. So I will be doing that in a little bit. But first, I am taking these two photos. They're pretty much the same photo. We went to the pumpkin patch um, in October. And so I'm finally scrapbooking some of these photos. And this is just of the pumpkins that we picked out. Um, I have other photos that I will be scrapping and you can check out my own channel for that. But um, yeah, so I am just going to be using, so I'm going to be using similar colors as what is in the photo. And um, so I'm going to back my white cardstock. I like to start off with white cardstock. That's my go-to. Um, and uh, put it on the back with, with this like really cool color. It's like a tealy blue sea foam green. I don't know. <laughs> like that blue green color that can look different for every person. Um, and I am going to use a little bit of this to back up some of the photos too. I do grab a whole bunch of other colors and textured papers. Um, one of the things that I do still like to do is do lots of um, layering. And so... I am going to do that as well. I believe I used a sketch for this. So if I can find the sketch that I use, I will make sure I link that. Um, yeah. So, um, so I am going to do this a double. And I liked using the smaller photos just because I still want a lot of that open space. And I know I, I know I want to do mixed media on here. And so that the smaller photos and especially because they're pretty generic they're not anything a mate you know they don't have my kids in it and and stuff like that so because of that that lends to being able to do that i don't know if i added gesso to this i'm gonna be honest with you guys i don't think i did um because i knew i was just doing splatters i Sometimes I just don't do it. Um, so I am using some of the the vibes. So I'm using Peachy Keen and that Egg Noggin. And the Egg Noggin is like one of my favorites. <laughs> um, it's like pure gold shimmer and it's amazing. And then the Peachy Keen is just a nice flat colorings color. So it's gonna go with it and I just let it drop. I mean, it's as simple as that. It splatters. Now, I also am going to be doing a little bit of stamping, and then I will be going back through, and sorry for the tilt, <laughs> going back through and adding some more splatters after I do this, because I realize that I just, I want some more color. This is not really enough color. But, um, so I am doing some stamping, and actually, I don't do this very often, and I don't know why. It was really fun. Um, the stamp that I'm using is from Felicity Jane and it has the, the, you know, the intricate part, but then it also has like just an empty leaf. So you could put a full color and I'm going to go and do that too. Um, I'm going to use some gold for that. And I think, I think I use another color too, but I'm not positive. So one of the things that I was thinking about after I did this that I wish I had tried is used the, the new Dazzler foils. Oh, I use white too. So this is a brilliant white. Um, it's really like one of my favorites. Uh, 
for white. Um, so you're really not going to see that much of it, but I just wanted to like tone that down. But like I was saying, I wish I would have thought to use the Dazzler foils because there is multiple colors um, and they're just all glitter and pasty and amazing. And if I would have painted that on where those leaves are, I think that would have gave a really, really cool <laughs> effect. So I didn't do that, but I'm saying this so that you guys can try it out and don't make the mistake I made. Um, and one way that you could get it so that the outline of the leaf doesn't really get weird as much as you could use the stamp as like a little template, paint it on there, you know, stamp it, and then go over with the other color later. Now, um, it's not something I did, so maybe this is something I need to play around with, because, but this is something I thought about after, and this happens to me a lot. I don't know if it happens to you guys. I get playing around and I don't have, I don't come in with a clear like vision of, oh, I'm gonna do this. So I knew I needed to add some more, so I'm adding this um, Moscato color, and it's a dark red, uh, like it's awesome. It's like one of my other favorite colors. So I was just gonna use the tip of the bottle and it was not working. So I'm using my paintbrush again. And the higher up you put your paintbrush, the more splatter of the, the splatter that you're gonna get. So I like to vary it. And it does depend on how much paint you, or of the vibes that you have. So this is dry now. And I'm gonna go back through and do all the rest of my paper. Cause if you don't let it dry, then, uh, you know, I mean, you could do it, <laughs> but I really didn't wanna ruin this. And I am gonna go back even later and add even more color because I just felt like it needed a couple more fall colors. So I do add some brown, I think treasured him is what I use. So it's more of a, a brown color. And so I knew I wanted that block there and I'm going to do some layering there and I'm going to build a cluster down at the bottom and my title's going to go over there, but then I will be doing some more um, layering with my photos together. And those will just be thin. I did not really want to cover up this mixed media. It's very simple, um, but it has such a fun impact. I mean, if you were to ask me, one of my favorite things <laughs> is doing splatters like it is my favorite i love it to pieces and almost always if i have a choice i will pick splatters because it's just so easy and you just get this really cool color and effect especially when the colors mix together like that the gold and the pink or not the pink the orange just like merge together and then you get a whole new color in the confines of that splatter and it just looks super cool but you do have to let it dry because otherwise you know fingers get in it and it doesn't look so good when it's smudged. <laughs> um, so yeah, so now you get to just watch me play around um, with all, all of this. And I think this is just, um, for me, this is the next fun part of figuring out how I'm gonna enhance the mixed media that I do with the layers and the other things that I add. And sometimes I go crazy and sometimes I don't. <laughs> Um, and this one, I really tried to show restraint with my layers because I did do that stamping. I do have really cool splatters and I didn't want to cover that up, but I did feel like it needed some more stuff. And like I said, I'm pretty sure I used a, um, a sketch to do this, which r is really helpful when you are busy and crazy and you know you don't know where to start so yeah i didn't have a plan with how i was going to do my media per se but then the rest of it could just go a little bit quicker i will say this video is about 15 minutes so i probably could have made it faster but you know we're just gonna go with it right <laughs> Um, so, and I did try to use colors that were in my photo as well as papers too. I really did like that pumpkin paper though that I had in my stash. I think I bought that last year and I don't know if it's from last year or the year before. Um, 
I think I got that when I went to my friend's house last year in this in the fall time but so I did use some like some Maggie Holmes and some other stuff I just pulled a whole bunch of like scraps and stuff that I had laying around and I'm gonna add some of this washi tape to both the top and the bottom photo just kind of add a little bit of something I don't use a lot of washi tape it's not really my favorite but um, I just thought it would look really cool and I really liked it with those leave um, paper clips so I'm just going with it we're going with it <laughs> now so get this I went in my stash to look for tags I think this was part on the sketch and I don't know if I would have ever put tags on here normally um, I love tags but I don't think I would have did that so one of the ways that I like to hold my uh, like ribbon or whatever twine for my tags is just use a little bit of the the mono glue and then you just let it sit but I found when I was looking for tags I found that tag that clear acetate tags I don't know do you guys remember those because I completely forgot about it but there was a couple collections that you just got a whole sheet of acetate with all these different tags on it and like strips and so I thought that that really added such a fun element because you can see through it but there's it adds just a little bit of something so here I'm adding some more media because I'm just about done I'm gonna add the title after but so I'm using this treasured him and it's a brown and it's not the prettiest brown but it really does match the leaves in that other paper in the bottom so I'm just gonna add a few and then I also use a little bit from I think I use more of the egg noggin because like I said that's like my favorite color and I love the gold and I think I use a little pot too I will make sure in the info of this video that I have the links for what I use because I did write it down I just don't have it right with me and this is more of an orange color too so just to add a little bit more some got on that tag which it's not gonna look like a splatter it's gonna be like a smudge but that's okay I think um, embracing the fact that not everything is gonna be perfect now I do like that that collection right in nestled in and I wish I would have like looked over top so sometimes when you're when I'm watching my videos and I'm I know we hear everybody talk about this who do videos but sometimes you just see something different than when you're sitting there looking at everything but I really it worked really well this way so I had these uh, teal colored with some gold and I really liked those but I didn't have enough letters I didn't have the O's so I am gonna put some stars in that's gonna help mirror like have more elements of that <clears throat> And it adds a different color that's not in my splatters, which I actually really like. I also had this little uh, wagon with some uh, some pumpkins, and it was perfect. Perfect. <laughs> it was like the heavens opened up and you have that perfect embellishment. So I'm going to add these, um, these Amy Tan ones. And I could have painted them. And that would have been great. I could I could have got used some of that gold or the orange, and that would have looked really cool too. Did I think about doing that? No. Um, but they're like a craft color, so they work really well when you color them. But I didn't do it, and I'm okay with that too. So this needed to be propped up a little bit because that tag, it, that wood tag, is actual wood. So I think that's like from Jelly Bean Super. No, Maya Road. That's where it's from. So I had quite a few of those. So it was nice using something that I had. And I'm just gonna glue these all down because um, they're not very sticky, especially the craft ones from Amy Tan. Just, you know how those stickers are. But anyway, I'm almost done. Thank you guys for watching me today. I hope you have a great, great day. I hope this inspired you to like pull out and do some splattering and do something fun on your layouts and uh, match colors from your photos with your mixed media and I, I just I just love doing that so super fun um definitely go and um, check out the links for where you can buy all this stuff there is new kits um, each month so color kits I did not use the color kits but they are really nice for when it is um fall and like seasonal time because they're always seasonal and it's super fun 
Um, and I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great day. Bye.